I'm going to show you some tips today about how to start a new test in the CAM analyzer and to use some of the virtual follower features. This is where you put the pointer directly on the lobe and then simulate what would be happening if you put different types of followers with it. So um, first we're going to, you know, to start a new test, you click on File, and it gives you two ways here to do it. And it's not, I hit something else. It thought, it, I, it thought I hit Edit, but anyway. Um, you can do either the Easy Start or the Classic way, where it gives you one screen. Uh, but before you start, it's always good to pull out of the library a test or a CAM test that's real similar to what you are going to run now. So in this case, we're going to do a small block Chevy. Uh, it happens to be a flat tap, what we're going to do, and so here's, we pulled out a small block Chevy flat tap at CAM. So anyway, I'm going to use the Easy Start Wizard, click on File, Easy Start Wizard, and it asks you a bunch of questions. I won't go into a lot of detail here. Most of these questions are pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing is, do you want to run another test like this? And I'm going to say yes. Well, no, let's say I'm going to say no, and I'll show you some of the extra questions it's going to ask you here. It goes through a lot more questions if you say no. And uh, it says, are you going to use electronics? And uh, just a number of extra things that are going to be asked here. And this would be useful if you're running a test for the first time or have never uh, done this before. Ask you, is the CAM design a small box Chevy? And we're only going to measure one cylinder on this and such. And we're going to say the intake center line. Let's say on this one it's not 110. Let's say we're going to assume it's a 108 lobe center line. And... A bunch of other questions. Like I said, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail here. Just going to accept a lot of the defaults, a lot of carryover from the other things. But here, let's say I know that it's 26,000 on the intake and 28 on the exhaust. And here you can put in your cam number or what operator is doing it. And let's say I'm Kevin, so we're going to change that. And uh, here's the folder name we're going to store it in. I don't know the grind number, so I leave that. And I'm going to blank out these comments or said erase these comments and finish. And now I'm left on the main screen pretty much blank, ready for me to record. Because we're doing virtual follower, let's go into the virtual follower specs to make sure things are set up correctly. So we click on the test slash cam setup. And here's the virtual follower details. Mm -hmm. And a little screen pops up, says if you make changes, it's going to change some things. But because we haven't started measuring anything, that's not real critical. This is where you assign it a virtual follower as a virtual follower, that things are going to be done with a pointer directly on the cam. And so I change it to virtual flat. Now let's say I know the crown radius isn't 60, it's actually 40. And for flat, it's not real critical. If this is a roller, this would be uh, more critical. Um, you should mic the base circle so you get this pretty close. And we know for this one, it's not 1.1, it's 1.155. Okay. And the exhaust and the intake specs are exactly the same. So we have now assigned some virtual follower specs, and we got to save it. So we click on Back, OK, and Save. And But this is the important thing. This is where you're going to assign things right here, virtual flat. OK, now we're ready to go. We're going to click on, um, press F5 or click up here and do our recording. Now, I'm not going to go through uh, too much of the recording screen because that's been covered in other movies. But here you are after you've measured uh, intake number one and exhaust number one. And you can see this looks pretty much like a typical CAM profile. So like you always want to do once you've made some, um, some changes or done some recording, you want to make sure you save it. If you want to save it to the same name, you just click on Spile, then Save. And now we know that those changes have been saved. You might want to type in some comments, which I'll do here. Something like that. And you should get used to doing this. It's very handy to keep track of all sorts of notes here. Uh, so you know what you're actually doing. Uh, if you come back six months or a year later to know what's going on here. Now I'm going to do something to try and um, illustrate what the virtual follower is actually doing here. 
And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this file and I'm gonna click on Save As. And I'm gonna save this to a new name. So we have two copies of the exact same data. I'm going to call it no virtual. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and turn off the virtual follower stuff. I'm going to say this is a standard flat, that this is exactly how I measured it. And you can see we did some updating there. Okay. And now you can see this doesn't look like a cam profile. See how pointy this is? Well, the reason it's so pointy, it doesn't have that flat tap it on the actual um, cam lobe to, to broaden this thing out. And if we go make a graph here of just, let's do intake and exhaust. We're just going to do cam data and just graph the lift. You can see this is what we've got. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here on the history log and I say, run this other one that had the virtual follower stuff with it. So I'm going to graph both of these. I'm going to check here also and just go down the list and see what else I've turned on to graph here in the graph column. And it looks like all I've got is these two, the current test with no virtual follower, and then the one where we simulated the virtual flat tappet follower. And you can see the big difference. See how pointy this is, the green and the dark blue? And this here looks more like a real cam profile that gets broadened out. Okay, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you another feature here uh, with the virtual follower. So what I've got to do is I'm going to click on File, and I'm going to open from History Log. I could open from All Save Tests, but I want to show you how the History Log works. History Log is a chronological list of everything you've done with the most recent stuff up at the top and things that you did further ago or down here at the bottom. So the virtual follower is the second one in the list because it's the second to the last thing we ever worked with. So I'm going to open this file and because here we got back to the regular looking cam profiles. And what I'm going to do is click on this watch cam slash follower. And it's going to give us some idea. I'm going to click on animate. Takes it a while to get its head together. But here's what's going on. We're actually watching the simulated virtual follower take this tap it up and down and you can see it gets pretty close to the edge on both sides and here is showing you about where the um, degree wheel would be if you had a degree wheel and say well that's rotating backwards and actually it's not the pointer is in this case the pointer is moving and the degree wheel is stationary in the real world your pointer would be stationary and the degree wheel be, would be rotating uh, clockwise here and you can um, stop this animation at a certain point if you want to look at things you can zoom in and zoom out let's say I want to stop it right here and I want to um, I should have done single step instead but anyway there's a lot of things you can do here I'm going to zoom in and you can see I can move it up and down and now I can do the animation again here it goes a lot of nice features here and here I'm going to just do single stepping here where I can uh, look at things in more detail. If you had a roller, this would be interesting also. Or if you had a virtual overhead cam um, finger follower type with a rocker arm on, on an overhead cam. So that's some of the uh, features that you can do with the virtual follower. I'm going to close the screen. And that concludes the demo.